If you're planning to sell your property in the Coachella Valley, it's essential to understand the home selling process from listing to closing. Selling a home involves multiple steps that can be complex, so it's important to work with a knowledgeable and experienced real estate agent like myself. Selling a home involves several steps, starting with determining the market value of your property and preparing it for sale. The next step is to list the home and begin showing it to potential buyers. Once you've found a buyer and accepted an offer, you enter into a period of negotiation, inspections, and appraisals before closing the sale. The closing process refers to the final stage of selling a home where ownership is officially transferred to the buyer. There are typical steps of the closing process in order. Here are the typical steps of the closing process in order. An attorney review. If you're selling a home in a state that requires an attorney to be present at closing, your attorney will review the closing documents and ensure that everything is in order. Title search and insurance. A title search is conducted to ensure that there are no liens or claims against the property. If any issues arise, title insurance can be obtained to protect both the buyer and the seller. And you have a final walkthrough. Typically does is done five days prior to the close of the sale of the property. Before closing, the buyer will usually conduct a final walkthrough of the property to ensure that everything is in the same condition as when they made the offer. At the closing, the seller signs the deed transferring ownership to the buyer and the buyer pays the remaining balance to purchase price. The buyer will also sign various closing documents and the transaction is recorded in public records. While the steps of the closing process may vary slightly depending upon the state and the specific circumstances of the sale, there are generally four steps involved. The contract to closing. This is the period between the purchase agreement is signed and when the closing takes place. During this time, the buyer will typically conduct inspections and finalize financing and the seller will address any issues that arise. Then you have pre-closing. This step involves the preparation of all closing documents, ensuring that everything is in order from closing. Then there's just closing. As mentioned earlier, this is when the ownership of the property is transferred from the seller to the buyer. After closing, the seller will receive the proceeds from the sale and the buyer will take possession of the property. Any outstanding issues will be resolved and the transaction will be recorded in public records. Closing should take place after all the conditions of the sale have been met and both parties are ready to complete the transaction. Typically, this is after the buyer has secured financing, completed inspections, and any necessary repairs have been made. Once all contingencies have been satisfied, the seller and buyer can agree on a closing date. The final Final step in selling real estate is recording the transaction of public records. This is usually done by the title company or the closing attorney. The deed is recorded and the sale is considered complete once it is filed in public records. At this point, the seller will receive the proceeds from the sale and the buyer will officially become the new owner of the property. In summary, selling a home can be a complex process, but working with a knowledgeable and experienced real estate agent like myself can make it easier. Contact me for a no obligation home valuation and let me guide you through the selling process to help you get the best price for your property in the Coachella Valley. Remember. Understanding the closing process is just one part of the home selling journey and having a trusted advisor by your side can make it all the difference. Don't hesitate to reach out and take the first step towards a successful home sale. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.